Baruchim Habaim. Good morning. It is a true pleasure to welcome you to the 24th annual commencement exercise of Manhattan High School for Girls. We are honored by the presence of Mr. Karasik Rabanim, distinguished members of the Board of Directors, Mrs. Yanovsky, Mrs. Friedman Stefanski, Rebetzin Eisenberger, Mrs. Klugman, esteemed teachers who are joining us via live stream. For us, as for you, this is a poignant moment. Can it be that four years have passed since our dear graduates entered the halls of Manhattan High School for Girls? Years, years of growth, of learning, and of joy. We feel mixed emotion as we bid our graduates farewell and tremendous gratitude to Hashem that we are able to join here in this stadium to celebrate together after the most challenging season. 27 years ago, Mr. George Klein and his wife Adela Leha Shalom had a dream of building a model Torah high school for girls in the heart of New York City. With foresight, skill, and dedication, they transferred this dream into a beautiful reality. The clients have been joined in their endeavors by a group of talented individuals. Committed to the ideals of our school, representing the Board of Directors, I am pleased to call upon Mr. George Karasik, President of our school board and father of five our alumni, Mr. Karasik. Thank you very much. Well, when you think you've seen everything, I guess you haven't. This is certainly a first for us. Welcome to the baseball stadium. I know I've always wanted to play on one, so it's, for me, this is, uh, this is an honor. Welcome to all the parents. Welcome to all the graduates and all of those who are watching it on the live stream. This is a very poignant moment, as was mentioned. And this is something which um, will certainly be remembered. I would like to thank the administration, Mrs. Yanovsky, Mrs. Friedman Stefanski, Mrs. Klugman, and all of those who are present for all the wonderful work that they've done on behalf of these graduates and all of those previously and all the students of the school. I wish a mazel tov to all of the parents it's really uh, a privilege that you've chosen to send your girls to our school. It's not something which we take for granted. We are a commuter school, and we rely on parents such as yourselves who are willing and happy to send your daughters for the education which we provide. And we are certainly happy to be working with you in the raising of your children. To you, the graduates, we wish you much growth. The Orgadal Yahu in last week's Parsha, he discusses that at the end of all the incidents that occurred between Moshe and Korach, and then complaining, Klal Yisrael complaining, Atem Hamitem Es Hamazeh. So the Rabboni Shalom sets up this test where they gather their 12 sticks and our own's the one our own stick is the one that blossoms and the torah says something very fascinating the fruit comes out and yet the flower is there and Rav Shor asks that that seemingly never happens when the fruit comes the flower falls so what is the significance of having both the fruit and the flower. And he explains that although something matures, you still need growth. The greatness of our own as was, as was explained in other parts of the Torah, is no, no matter what, the repetition of lighting the menorah every day, there was an excitement, there was a constant growth. And that is the message which he says is with the mata. The, the fruit comes out, and yet the flower still blooms. 
there is always a growth. You graduates will certainly not forget the last number of months of your senior year. It was traumatic, tumultuous, and yet the school functioned, and the school functioned well. Even this graduation is like none we have seen in our 25 years of graduations. And now as you move on and you've had your own growth, we urge you that as you move forward to seminary, college, and Amir Tzashem to building your own homes, your growth doesn't stop. Your maturity doesn't stop. You're always striving for more. And these are the lessons we at the school have tried to provide to you. We wish you mazel tov and must, much success in your futures. And we hope you don't forget Manhattan High School. Thank you all very much. It is now my pleasure to introduce our school's Menahelet, Mrs. Sivianovsky, to deliver a message to the graduates. Good morning, graduates. How we have missed you. You are a sight for sore eyes. Okay. Good morning, Mr. Karasik, Mr. Rebavram, and Mrs. Kicha Reese, Rebeim, Machan Chos, teachers, honored guests who are present, honored guests who are joining us via live stream, and of course, beloved, beloved graduates. The students of Manhattan High School, Machon Yaakov Levanot, are fortunate enough to be part of a vibrant, dynamic, and creative atmosphere of excellence. Today, we celebrate the collective achievements of our graduates. Representing our students today, our valedictory address will be delivered by Sarah Nordlicht, and our salutatory addresses will be delivered by Noah Klein and Hani Shulman in recognition of their superior academic distinction in Judaic and general studies. Before they begin, I would like today to acknowledge our Arista awardee, who is also deserving of the highest honor due to her incredible academic achievements. This young lady is the top ranking student in a conscientious, hardworking, high achieving class of students, all of whom deserve a round of applause. Our Arista awardee, which is the distinction right behind our speakers, is Miss Essie Abitan. <laughs> Sarah, please come up. Bukartov, the Parshasino Ashevua, Parshas Kukas, Anulum dos Udos Misas Aronakoi, the Fichazal, Aronakoi and Zaha, the Muspa Misas Nashika, the Gamzaha, their Osas Penoa Lazar, the Vushpo Vushko and Gadl, call them a Pene Gadluso. Gadluso shall Aronakoi and I saw, Shaya Oiv Shalom, the Rodi Shalom. Meolam Lokine be Moshe Rabino, Achiva Katami Menu, Kimoshe Idalava Kadishbarhu, Achiha Aaron, Veraaha Vesamach Belibo. It's time Avas Israel, Lachin Kishista Likmena Olam, Vayivko as Aaron Shloshem Yom, Kol Bas Israel, Anashem Vinashem, A Moshe Rabino Nemar, Vayivko Sol Kobene Israel, Rakagvarim, Shalimadi Tam Torah. 
Rashi Omer, Lefisha ya Aaron Rodi of Shalom, Umetio Ava, Vin Bali Mirivo, Vin Ishli Ishto, Kulam, Anashem Vinashem, Bahu Acharav. Aaron a coin Zahal and Misa Sashika, Kihu Yaga Vitarach, Vishadal Maud, Vava Sisral. Daracha Malva Yigia Shalo, Vava Sisral. Higia le Kasher at Somi Makadish Barho, Acha Zahal and Misa Sashika. Mimeno nomad, Shahigia Shalanu, Yholola Vios and Uligva Muhaniam. Kimoshna Mar Begimar of Misakas Megilla. Amar Vietzak. Im you Marlaha Adam, Yagati, Lomatsasi, Altamen. Lo Yagati, Umatsasi, Altamen. Yagati, Umatsasi, Tamen. Im Lomatsasi, Simon, Shalo Yagati. Aval Imatsasi, Bivadai Yagati. Ata kishanachnu omdos peis siam arvash no slimodim be machon yakov av sharlo marlinu yaganu umatsanu yagato matasa tamen yagia shemi vila mitzia mechazik banu asamuna shakadish baruch hazar lanu leagiad halo achshav zoha is la kir tova vetolda la chol misha hazar lanu leagia lizman miuchal azeh. Alina Lishabaya Kladona Kol. First, I wish to thank the Rabono Shalom publicly for making these four years so amazing and full of growth. I'd also like to thank our phenomenal principals, Mrs. Yanovsky and Mrs. Freeman Stefanski. Your leadership, warmth, and encouragement made all the difference to each and every one of us. We would not be the people we are today without you. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our Limudi Kodesh teachers. You not only taught us a wealth of information in terms of Chomish, Navi, Megillah, Halacha, and Ashkafa, you also gave us true Chinach by giving us the tools and skills to continue learning in the future. We are forever indebted to you. Special thank you to our Mechanchos for always being there for us and hearing us out. To our general studies teachers, thank you so much for the information and skills you impart to us. You made learning interesting, interactive, meaningful, and magical. You were always willing to help us during and after class, and you patiently nurtured our interests. Thank you so much for all you have taught us in both word and action. On behalf of the graduates of 2020, I'd like to thank our parents for all they've done for us these past years, which goes way much more beyond just paying all that tuition. You encouraged us, inspired us, and cultivated our growth. You listened to us when we complained way too much about our schoolwork and rejoiced with us in our successes. We can never repay you for all you have done in raising us. To my fellow graduates, thank you for making the past four years the amazing experience that it was. We bonded so much over these years, and we're always looking out for one another and helping each other. I will miss you all so much. And yet, this isn't the end, but rather the beginning of our keeping in touch with each other for many years to come. You're the most awesome, giving, inspirational, fun-loving, sensitive, thoughtful, and cheerful people that I know, and will always know Baz Hashem. I hope to always be in touch. We became one through our shared experiences and we grew together. I love you all and we'll miss you so much. Thank you. Noah Klein. Shus, Mrs. Yanofsky, Mrs. Freeman Stefanski, the board, the faculty, and my dear classmates. When I was told of the privilege of speaking at our graduation, my mind was filled with hundreds, no, thousands of things that I had to say. Then, I was told that my speech should only be around four minutes long. And with that, my dreams were crushed. Just kidding. But I am faced with the challenge of summarizing in just a few short words the essence of what it means to be graduating from such a special place as Manhattan High School and the tremendous impact that the faculty, administration, and my classmates have made on me and all of us. I have been taught by this great institution 
that when we are looking to express ourselves, but feel our own words lack sufficient meaning, we turn to the words of Chazal to help express the appropriate gratitude, fondness, and admiration we all have for MHS. In Parshas Kisavo, we read about the mitzvah of Bikurim, that the first of a farmer's fruit should be brought to the Kohen in the Beis HaMikdash, where the farmer then recites a declaration of thanks to Hashem. Rashi famously comments on the first word of the Torah, Bereshis, that it means Bishvil Reshis, that the world was created for the sake of the Torah and Klal Yisrael. The Medrash brings a less well-known connection between Bikurim and this first word, saying that it means Bishvil Reshis of Bikurim, that the world was created for the sake of the mitzvah of Bikurim. The al Sheikh is mystified by this explanation. If you were asked to list the top 10 mitzvos, you certainly would not list Bikurim as one of them. Why then does the Medrash posit that the world was created for its sake? The al Sheikh answers that embedded within the mitzvah of Bikurim is the foundation of every human being, Hakar Satov. This mitzvah teaches the crucial and essential attribute of every Jew, that of gratitude. The essentialness of which is emphasized by the Pirkei de Rabbi Eliezer as necessary to rectify the primordial sin. This lesson of the centrality of Hakar Satov is not only a lesson that we have been taught by MHS, but it is a lesson that breathes on its own through the role models we emulate in our parents, teachers, and administrators. Just as by Bikurim, we have a natural desire and obligation to express our sincerest thanks to each and every part of MHS. Our esteemed principals, Mrs. Yanofsky and Mrs. Friedman Stefanski, you have earned our thanks for your leadership in molding this institution into what it is today. Just like a person cannot survive without his head, our school cannot be what it is without you. Thank you for your devotion to every one of our successes and for your pursuit of a personal relationship with each and every one of us. To our Rebbeim and Limudei Kodesh teachers, thank you for being a continual source of inspiration to us, both inside and outside the classroom. Our vast Torah knowledge can be attributed to you, and we thank you for that key foundation you have given us to live a Torah life. Not only have you taught us so much, you have loved and supported us along the way. It was never about covering the curriculum. It was about the growth one experiences through learning, the development of our midos, and the understanding of a Torah life which you embodied through your selflessness and freely giving of your own time, especially late at night. To our general studies teachers, thanks to you, we have developed our critical thinking, become articulate, amassed histor historical knowledge, and mastered problem solving, all of which will serve us so well, both in our careers and our everyday lives. You have prepared us to go out into the real world, but have left us with the security to know that we will always have you to fall back on if we ever have any questions or doubts. Our parents deserve our deepest thanks for their unrequited love and devotion. They have been with us through it all, whether it be encouraging us to go onward when the going gets tough, or even studying with us when we just don't have the patience. All of our successes and our personalities can be traced back to you. And to my wonderful, amazing parents, what can I say? Can I ever have enough Hakar Satov to you? Thank you for raising me, for showering me with love, for taking me out for ice cream, for kisses goodnight. Thank you for always staying up whenever I'm out late to make sure I'm okay 
and for dropping everything to help me. I know you say you love me more, but I know the truth. Of course, where our thanks are truly limitless and inadequate, we thank the Rabboni Shel Olam for sustaining us with every breath, guiding us, holding our hands, and simply being with us at each step. It is our deepest hope that we have lived up to Hashem's expectations and that we continue to be Makade Shem Shemaya. And finally, to my fellow graduates. We've been through a lot together, from impromptu dance parties, some even with social distancing, to surviving finals. And that has formed a bond between us that we need to make sure will never fade. Each one of us contributed something special to the class. I know that my life wouldn't be the same if I didn't know every single one of you. You each have your own special qualities. If you're ever in doubt as to what they are, feel free to ask me to tell you about them, but be prepared to be stuck for a while. I love you all, and I'm so proud to be one of you. Thank you. Chani Shulman. As we celebrate our graduation, we are marking the completion of four years of learning at Manhattan High School. Since we are reflecting on that which we have gained these past four years, I thought it would be fitting to examine the Hadron prayer that one says when making a siyam. After completing a Masechta in Gemara, or a Seder in Mishnah, one addresses this prayer to that Masechta or Seder. Hadron Allah, we will return to you alan, and you will return to us. Datan Arlach, our mind is on you, Vadatak Alan, and your mind is on us. Lo Nishnashemi Nech, we will not forget you, the Lo Tisnashemi Nan, and you will not forget us. Lo Baalma Hadin, the Lo Baalma Dasi, not in this world and not in the world to come. Having invested in his learning, the one reciting this prayer indicates that the portion he has learned has become his friend, so to speak. He will never forget his friend, as he will continue to review his learning, while at the same time, the Torah he has learned will never forget him, rewarding him with blessing and protecting him from harm. It is customary for one to begin their next Masechta or Seder at the Siyam. This is to show the continuity of our learning. The same can be said for the Torah reading on Simcha's Torah. Once the Chassan Torah finishes laning the Zos Habracha, the Chassan Bereshis begins reading the start of Sefer Bereshis. Today, we acknowledge our gratitude to Mrs. Yanevsky, Mrs. Friedman Stefanski, our teachers and administrators who have not only educated us, but have imparted us with the skills to continue our learning. We know that the wisdom of Torah is infinite, and that even though we will be leaving our MHS desks, we must continue to learn. We are privileged to have learned from our Kodesh teachers, who showed us the importance of forming personal relationships to Torah by giving us insight into their own connections to Yiddishkeit. Each teacher inspired us to find our identities, in which we embrace our individuality and hone our commitment to the community at large. They dedicated their time, energy, and creativity to relate lessons that will serve us for a lifetime. In addition to helping us with our academic endeavors, our teachers were there for us outside of the classroom as well. Whether that be in offering guidance, organizing enjoyable events, answering our questions, or listening to our concerns. Even after high school ends, we know that they will continue to support us in these capacities. Hadran Allah, Bahadrach Alan. We will return to you, and you will return to us. Our general studies teachers have equipped us with the necessary skills to succeed in the next steps of our education and in our future careers. Through literary journal, labyrinth, TED Talks, and views on the news, our teachers have helped us produce work that we are proud of and allowed us to actualize our potential in these areas. 
the core classes in math, English, science, and history have broadened our understanding of the topic at hand, and our unique array of elective classes has given us the opportunity to take ownership of the other disciplines we choose to explore. Only in Manhattan High School can one learn cybersecurity, business psychology, courtroom law, piano instrumentation, and much more. Even as social distancing protocols disrupted learning together in the classroom, our teachers were eager to adapt to the technological platforms that would allow us to continue our studies. Many teachers took time out of their busy schedules to coordinate Zoom events, cooking lessons, Divre Torah, and Chizuk sessions for us. It was through these different measures of reaching out to us that helped us feel less isolated in quarantine. Our mind is on you, and your mind is on us. My fellow classmates, this is not how we expected to end our senior year. This is not how we pictured graduation, nor how we imagined our last few moments in high school. Yet, through this all, you have remained optimistic, considerate, and resilient. Despite our physical separation, we have grown in our achdos and love for one another. I will miss you all, but I know this is not the last time we will be seeing each other. Manhattan High School. Lo nisnashe minech, velo tisnashe minan. We will not forget you, and you will not forget us. Thank you. Last words are significant. The Gemara reports to us the haunting last words of Rabbi Akiva. Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad. In this past parsha, even posthumously, Korach's words reverberate throughout the generations for those who cock their ears. Moshe Emes, Visoraso Emes. The oft common repeated refrain of Klal Yisrael. Even among the umos ha'olam lahavdil, last words are consequential. The last words of Socrates are recorded for posterity. All the more significant are the last words of those that close an era. COVID-19 has ushered in a new era. No, I am not going to be speaking ad infinitum about COVID-19 today, but we must say that naysayers have decried kids today. A common refrain is that millennials and Gen Z are pampered and entitled. Their resilience muscle attenuated due to atrophy. But if you want to reignite your faith in humanity, you should meet our seniors. In conversation with teachers and students, for the most part, I have heard about excellent coping skills, beautifully adjusted family relationships, cultivated leadership skills with school involvement, and continuous growth and learning. Of course, I don't delude myself that there were and are challenges, but at the same time, beloved seniors, you have proved yourselves to be resilient and resourceful. At graduation, it is important to view and assess the world around us so that we can contextualize and confront our graduates' particular challenges. Today, a tsunami of liberal ideology is engulfing modern society. Secular society has successfully pushed religious people and traditionalists into a corner of silence where they are overwhelmed by the spurious logic of empty slogans. There are those that are bent on gradually legalizing every transgression prohibited by the Aseris Adibros, false witness, murder, theft, and immorality. The Navi Yirmiyahu says, Virdir Shuesh Shlom Ha'ira Shariglesias Chem Shama, Bispa Lalu Ba'ada El Hashem, 
Ki bishloma yiyelachem shalom. Pray for the city which, to which I have exiled you, for in its welfare is your welfare. Beloved students, there is only one antidote for the ailments that inflict society, and that is an unwavering commitment to Torah and Halacha. As you embark upon your lives, always ask yourselves searchingly, is this mandated by Halacha? Is this permissible, sanctioned? Does it lead me to a deeper service of Hashem? The Jewish Book Club has become a fixture of our students' chinuch, and one in which I take a particular pride in. As one of our students outlined at the dinner, we discuss topics and thresh out issues. But the subliminal messages are always hashkafically enriching, even for the facilitators. Beloved graduates, we will invite you to, to future Jewish book club meetings via Zoom for many years to come. So stay tuned. A few weeks ago, we had the pleasure of discussing the story of Rebetzin Esther Jungreis, Allah Shalom, her life, her vision, her legacy. One story stands out in my mind, anecdotal evidence that she proved that Torah could interest, engage, and energize all Jews. A potential Bala Tshuva who was vacillating with her commitment to Shmira Satorah Vahamitzvos heard the Rebetzin say a line that had her convinced that she needed to commit to what she instinctively knew was the truth. The Rebetzin said that as a nation, we can only survive if we have players. It's great to be a fan in the stands, but if there's nobody on the ball field playing the game, we won't exist. If every stadium were filled to capacity with only fans, and there were no players out there, would there be a game? Her love for Torah imbued this Balat Shuvah with a sense of purpose and respect to stop cheering in the stands and to actually join the team. Today, beloved graduates, right here at Boulder Stadium, I implore you, play ball! Go out there and hit a home run. Through the study of Tanakh and Sifrei Musser, you have become an engaged community of sophisticated thinkers. Now go into the world and share your wealth of knowledge. You have studied halacha and implemented its practice. Venture out into the world with ironclad convictions overcome the maelstrom of temptations with self-mastery and discipline. You have honed your interpersonal skills. Now, as empathetic and charismatic young women, prepare yourselves for future societal roles as mothers, as community, le community leaders, teachers, and perhaps, and definitely, the most noble of professions, mothers of the children of tomorrow. At MHS, you have been inspired to achieve great heights, but greatness does not come from feeling inspired. Inspiration is like the lightning in a dark, rainy forest. It lets us ascertain that we're headed in the right direction. The high you got from an epiphany or a resonant thought in a great class was a great start but fleeting unless actualized. While it is true that your teachers have provided you with a chinuch so rich in scope and dimension that it can serve as a bulwark against the blandishments of society and have successfully prepared you to join the ranks of Nashim Israel, it is up to you to act upon that stellar chinuch. I have grown to love, cherish, and admire each and every one of you for your unique qualities. 
and I have confidence that you will live up to the task. Class of tough Shinpei, you will never be replaced and never be forgotten. <laughs> Beloved graduates, the past few months were challenging, but perhaps prophetically and certainly instinct instructively, the theme that you chose for your yearbook on leave-taking leave was Ki Seitzeyun Tuvalun. You are leaving with joy. Do not forget the infectious joy, the magic of your high school years. As I mentioned in my yearbook article, please read it, if not now, then in a decade from now. They were sometimes halcyon and sometimes turbulent. After all, you are graduating with pomp and unusual circumstance. But those exhilarating years will, like a tuning fork, reverberate for years to come. Always savor and relish the unadulterated love of your rebellion, mechanchos, and teachers, and the impact they had on your development. Warm yourselves by the fire of their passion for Yiddishkeit and their devotion to your welfare. As your principal, I want to thank you and your wonderful parents, whom I have had the privilege of partnering with for four glorious years. Your sincerity, desire for growth, and joie de vivre were a delight to behold. I did that for you girls. I had the pleasure of teaching you as well. With you, I experienced the particular brand of magic that one can only find in a conventional, or Zoom classroom. It is so difficult for me to bid you farewell, but I comfort myself with a thought that you will return. You chose the theme, and my birchas hedyo to all of you is that may your homes resound with laughter and joyous song, and most importantly, may they pulsate with a vibrancy of Torah and mitzvot. Last words are indeed significant. The last words of the last of the Nevi'im have echoed down the long corridor of history, and the clarion call is audible to all those who hearken to its message to this very day. I would like to conclude with the prophetic words of Malachi as my prayer during these uncertain times. Hine anochi sholeach lachem es Eliyahu hanavi. Behold, I am sending you that Navi Eliyahu before the coming of the day of Hashem, which is so great and awesome. During this widespread feeling of unusual insecurity that our nation and our generation is experiencing, let us make the insecurity of human life supportable by embracing our belief in that which is unchanging, our creator and his divine promise. Thank you, girls, and may you be benched forever. Thank you. Okay, on behalf of Mrs. Friedman Stefanski and myself, I would like to take this opportunity to thank our administration, Mrs. Ferber, Mrs. Weiss Hirsch, and Rabbi Storch, as well as our administrative support staff, Mrs. Rottenberg, Mrs. Schwartz, Mrs. Spilzinger, Ms. Benchamola, Ms. Spira, for their dedicated efforts on behalf of the school and of the graduating class of Taf Shin Pei. As I call upon our beloved 12th grade Mechanecha to distribute the awards, I would like to acknowledge Rebitzin Twersky, the legendary head of the Tanakh department, as well as our other esteemed Rabbanim and Lemude Kodesh teachers, whose erudition and devotion contributed to the Torah education of our students, who are off to high-level seminaries in Eretz Yisrael to complete their studies. I would also like to thank our other Mechanchot, Mrs. Etty Kohn, Mrs. Miri Kohn, Mrs. Eisenberg, and Mrs. Zemberg, for their indefatigable efforts. We are fortunate to have a stellar cohort of teachers, both Kodesh and general studies, who educate our students with skill and devotion. Today, they are represented by Rebetzin Miriam Eisenberger, 
our esteemed and revered 12th grade Mechanechet and Chumash teacher. Rebetzin Eisenberger's passion, vibrancy, and scholarship make the classroom come alive. Students will remember her Shabbaton, events, and pedagogy for a lifetime. Okay, girls. Rifki Samo. Rifki, you enhanced MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of production ensemble and head of our tent program. We will always remember your honesty, positivity, and bedrock hashkafos. Rifki, you are full of creativity and terrific spirit, and we feel really lucky to have had you at MHS, Rifki Samuel. Tamar Sperry, Tamar, you enriched MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of our 12th period quarterly production, editor of Poetry Power, and as editor of the yearbook. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your fresh perspectives. Today, we are proud to honor you with a National Merit Commended Award and the MHS Academic Enrichment Award. Tamar, you are full of intellectual creativity, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Tamar Sperry. <laughs> Ani Jakobowitz. Ani, you enlivened MHS, and we thank you for serving as GEO Vice President and head of our big sister, little sister program. We will always remember your good humor, leadership, and utmost refinement. Ani, you are full of talent and good cheer, and we feel blessed to have had you at MHS. Ani Jakobowitz. Sarah Strauss. Sarah, you elevated MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of production choir and as Hebrew editor of the yearbook. We will always remember your thirst for learning, keen intelligence, and immense desire to do chesed. Today, we are proud to honor you with a Rabbi Moshe Sherer Memorial Award, recognizing your excellence in learning and leadership. Sarah, you are full of dignity and strength, and we feel privileged to have had you with us at MHS. Sarah Strauss. <laughs> Leah Gerber. Leah, you brightened MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of production ensemble and head of Chesed. A standing member of Arista, we will always remember your constant positivity and beautiful midos. Leah, you are full of kindness, and we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Leah Gerber. Chani Shulman. Chani, you exalted MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of our Moadim publication, as, as the English literary editor of the yearbook. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your esteem for learning and your warm heart. Today, we are proud to honor you with a salutatory award. Chani, you are full of exceptional aptitude, and we feel grateful to have had you with us at MHS. Chani Shulman. Molly Wolfson. Molly, you animated MHS and we thank you for serving as senior class president. We will always remember your selfless devotion and talented leadership. Molly, you are full of loyal friendship and a contagious zest for life and talent, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Molly Wolfson. Etta Foyer. Etta, you graced MHS and we thank you for serving as editor of our Lexington Weekly new, new Blog for two years in a row. We will always remember your intellectual bent and genuine friendship. Etta, you are full of integrity and talent, and we appreciate it that we have had you with us at MHS. Etta Foyer. Etsy Gelfgott. 
Eti, you dignified MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of Pnina Tashavua for two consecutive years. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your keen intelligence and genuine care for others. Today, we are proud to honor you with the President's Silver Education Award. Etsy, you are full of refined dignity, and we feel gratified to have had you with us at MHS. Etsy Gelfgott. Sarah Nordlicht. Sarah, you glorified MHS. Thank you. And we thank you for serving as editor of our 12th period quarterly publication. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your brilliance and commitment to do chesed. Today, we are proud to honor you with the valedictory award. Sarah, you are filled with thoughtful intelligence and we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Mia Lubetsky. Mia, you thrilled MHS, and we thank you for serving as leader of our first annual flip phone challenge and as GEO president. We will always your, remember your easygoing nature, creative intelligence, and boundless energy. Mia, you are full of leadership ability, and we feel so fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Mia Lubetsky. Ahuva Mermelstein, Ahuva, you honored MHS. And we thank you for serving as editor of our Labyrinth Science Academic Journal, editor of our Literary and Art Journal, and as English editor of our yearbook. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your kindness and intellect. Today, we are proud to honor you with a Mayoral Achievement Award and with the coveted Midos Tovos Award, as nominated by our graduating class. Ahuva, you are full of dignified refinement, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Ahuva Mermelstein. Fagi Eisen. Fagi, you enlivened MHS, and we thank you for serving as GEO president. We will always remember your Simchas Achayim, an exceptional commitment to chesed and community service. Begi, you are full of talent, creativity, and sensitivity for others. And we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Begi Eisen. Ilana Newhouse. Ilana, you sweetened MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Mishmeres and also as head of Tzedakah. We will always remember your loyal friendship and dedication to Chesed. Ilana, you are full of chain and sweetness, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Ilana Newhouse. Ita Schachter. Ita, you invigorated MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Chagiga and also as editor of our, editor-in-chief of our yearbook. We will always remember your talented leadership and golden heart. Ita, you are full of initiative and good cheer, and we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Ita Schachter. Rachel Gelbtach. Rachel, you beautified MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Chagiga and as layout editor of the yearbook. We will always remember your impeccable Midos, intelligence, and delightful spunk. Rachel, you are full of charm, and we feel appreciative to have had you with us at MHS. Rachel Gelbtach. Yael Weinberg. Yael, you strengthened MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Chagiga and as head of Tzedakah. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your Torah de Kashkafos and dignity. 
Today, we are proud to honor you with the Manhattan Borough President's Award. Yael, you are full of good cheer, and we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Ilana Brunner. Ilana, you enthralled MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of our genealogy event and also as a member of our senior leadership. An AP scholar, we will always remember your quick, retentive mind and beloved friendship. Ilana, you are full of outstanding strengths and aptitude, and we feel gratified to have had you with us at MHS. Thank you. Yael Fagan. Yael, you honored MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of tickets for school production, and also as layout editor of the 12th period quarterly publication. We will always remember your perceptiveness and your deep compassion for others. Yael, you are full of competence and kindness, and we feel fortunate to have had you at, with us at MHS. Yael Fagan. Chaya Rosenberg. Chaya, you dazzled MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Mishmeres and also as head of our school's We Educational Performance. We will always remember your endearing spirit and elegant midos. Chaya, you are full of studied refinement, and we feel enriched to have had you with us at MHS. Chaya Rosenberg. Esti Schreiber. Esti, you esteemed MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton for 10th grade, as sophomore class president, as an editor-in-chief of the yearbook. We will always remember your authentic character and fun sense of humor. Esti, you are full of loyal devotion, and we feel lucky to have had you with us at MHS. Esti Schreiber. Deanie Bell. Deanie, you enthralled MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of Mishmeris and also as head of Staka. We will always remember your passion for learning and commitment to performing chesed. Deanie, you are full of zest for achievement. And incidentally, we thank Dr. and Dr. Bell for letting Dini do Dini and letting us have you with us. So, we feel inspired to have had you with us at MHS. Dini Bell. Shashi Farhi. Shashi, you captivated MHS. And we thank you for serving as an impressive contributor to the genealogy presentation and as a beloved contributor to school's art and drama events. We will always remember your kind-heartedness and indomitable optimism. Shashi, you are full of charisma, and we feel favored to have had you with us at MHS. Shashi Farhi. Aviva Strix. Aviva, you delighted MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of production dance and also as head of our school's genealogy event. We will always remember your golden heart and reassuring presence. Aviva, you are full of Simcha Sachaim, and we feel elated to have had you with us at MHS. Aviva Strix. Chaya Bomrand. 
Chaya, you electrified MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of Chagiga and also as head of our Big Sister, Little Sister program. We will always remember your exceptional friendship and generous spirit. Chaya, you are full of Avas Yisrael, and we feel thrilled to have had you here with us at MHS. Chaya Bamrind. Shira Zerbib. Shira, we thank you for serving as head of production ensemble and as the Hebrew editor of the yearbook. We will always remember your wonderful grace and tremendous work ethic. Shira, you are full of kindness and refinement, and MHS feels lucky to have had you with us. Shira Zerbib. You nurtured MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton in the ninth grade, member of student council in the 11th grade, and also as stuck ahead. We will always remember your distinct thoughtfulness and humble leadership. Anna, you are full of passion and stunning talent, and we feel gratified to have had you with us at MHS. Anna Gross. Shoshana Escott. Shoshana, you distinguished MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of the 12th period quarterly magazine, an AP scholar with honor, and a standing member of Arista. We will always remember your bright, agile mind and willingness to give of yourself. Shoshana, you are full of dignity, and we feel thankful to have had you with us at MHS. Shoshana Escott. Tamar Dan. Tamar, you adorned MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of our Moadim publication. We will always remember your beautiful poise and serene and comforting influence. Tamar, you are full of terrific talent and breathtaking humility, and we feel most appreciative to have had you with us at MHS. Tamar Dan. Hannah Esther Schwartz. Hannah Esther, you graced MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton. We will always remember your exquisite midos and genuine friendship. Chana Esther, you are full of strength and selflessness. And we feel so grateful to have had you with us at MHS. Chana Esther Schwartz. Sharon Dahan. Sharon. You energized MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton in the 10th grade, head of school production, and as head of Chesed. We will always remember your quest for growth and multifaceted talents. Sharon, you are full of regality, and we feel honored to have had you with us at MHS. Sharon Dahan. Sari Frankel. Sari, you charmed MHS, and we thank you for serving as coordinator of Chagiga and also head of Staka. We will always remember your remarkable friendship and joyful energy. Sari, you are full of integrity and earnest goodwill, and we feel special to have had you with us at MHS, Sari Frankel. Chedva 
נביאים. חדווה. You empowered MHS, and we thank you for serving as debate team captain, head of school production, head of um, editor-in-chief of the yearbook, an AP scholar, we will always remember your intellectual curiosity and talented leadership. And we also want to thank Rabbi and Mrs. Levine for sharing you for four years from the other side of the country. You are full of strength and passion, and we feel privileged to have had you here with us at MHS. Chedva Levine. Rebecca Spitzer. Rebecca, you enhanced MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of school Shabbaton and as head of grade Shabbaton in the 12th grade. We will always remember your distinct chain, commitment to chesed, and fabulous talent. Rebecca, you are full of heart, and we feel blessed to have had you here with us at MHS. Rebecca Spitzer. Rachel Fogo. Rachel, you dignified MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton in 11th grade, and as head of Chesed. We will always remember your pleasant disposition and compassion for all of your peers. Rachel, you are full of humility and terrific talent, and we feel privileged to have had you with us at MHS. Rachel Fogo. <laughs> Hannah Satara. Hannah, you delighted MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of Chagiga, and as head of our WE educational performance, we will always remember your contagious Simcha Sachayim and impressive ambitiousness. Hannah, you are full of a zest for Torah and for life, and we are so thankful to have had you with us at MHS. Hannah Setara, Miriam Mermelstein, Miriam, you beautified MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of Mishmeres and also as head of Chesed. We will always remember your modesty and refinement and your multifaceted talents. Miriam, you are full of a quality character and we feel lucky to have had you with us at MHS. Miriam Mermelstein. <laughs> Esther Bertram. <laughs> Esther, you uplifted MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of school Shabbaton in both the 11th and 12th grade. We will always remember your energizing spirit and creative, nuanced mind. Esther, you're full of generosity, and we were privileged to have you with us at MHS. Esther Bertram! Eileen <laughs> Tavakoli! Where's Eileen? Eileen, you exalted MHS. And we thank you for serving as editor of the 12th period quarterly magazine for two years in a row and also as senior class president. We will always remember your regal demeanor and talented leadership. Eileen, you are full of love 
and warmth and joy. And we feel so blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Eile Tavakoli, Sarah Gittel Paley. Sarah Gittel, you enriched MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton in 11th grade and as the features editor of the yearbook. An AP scholar, we will always remember your quick intuitiveness and real sensitivity for all. Sarah Gittel, you're full of elegance and we feel grateful to have had you with us at MHS. Sarah Gittel Paley, Alicia Russo. Alicia, you advanced MHS, and we thank you for serving as a member of the 11th grade student council and also as senior class president. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista. We will always remember your smile, wisdom, and sense of responsibility. Today, we are proud to honor you with the President's Gold Education Award. Alicia, you are full of dignity, and we feel advantage to have had you with us at MHS, Alicia Russo. Shira Safran. Shira, you enhanced MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of Tadaka and contributing your many talents to school events we will always remember your sparkling personality and upbeat, infectious nature. Shira, you are full of an endearing personality, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Shira Safran. Essie Abitan. Essie, you elevated MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of school production and also as the English literary editor of the yearbook. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista. We will always remember your exceptional kindness and innate refinement. Today, we are proud to honor you with the MHS Arista Award. Essie, you are full of terrific capability, and we feel privileged to have had you with us at MHS. Essie Abitan. <laughs> Bela Weiner. Bela, you empowered MHS, and we thank you for serving as the editor of our Moadim publication, and also as the editor-in-chief of this yearbook produced for the graduates of 2020. An AP scholar and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your loyal friendship and brilliant mind for learning. Today, we are proud to honor you with the New York State Comptroller Achievement Award. Bela, you are full of generosity and sophistication, and we feel special that we have had you with us at MHS. Bela Weiner, <laughs> Hannah Gerber. Hannah, you fortified MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of our Lexington Weekly News blog, and also as head of our senior leadership program. An AP scholar, we will always remember your optimistic disposition and creative, sharp mind. Today, we are proud to honor you with the MHS Academic Modern Jewish History Award. Hannah, you are full of integrity 
and leadership, and we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Hannah Gerber, Shira Zalewski. Shira, you brightened MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of school Shabbaton and also as editor of Pninat HaShavua. An AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your generous spirit and creative, clever mind. Shira, you're full of both kindness and conviction, and we feel so enriched to have had you with us at MHS. Shira Zalewski, Zahava Giloni. Zahava, you honored MHS. And we thank you for serving as GEO Vice President and also as head of our 10 Torah Leadership Program, an AP scholar with honor and a standing member of Arista. We will always remember your refinement, leadership, and friendship. Today, we are proud to honor you with the Kesser Shingtov Award as nominated by this by your graduating class. Zahava, you are full of passion for learning and a contagious love for Yiddishkeit. And we feel blessed to have had you with us at MHS. Zahava Giloni, Esti Samo. Esti, you dignified MHS. And we thank you for serving as head of school Shabbaton and also as head of tzedakah. We will always remember your exceptional chen, creative talents, and genuine desire for growth. Esti, you're full of impeccable refinement and terrific midos. And we feel so lucky to have had you with us at MHS. Esti Samo. <laughs> Noah Klein. Noah, you captivated MHS. And we thank you for serving as a devoted, consistent peer tutor and also as head of dance for school production. An AP scholar and a standing member of Arista, we will always remember your passion for learning and consistent embra embrace of chesed and extracurricular enrichments. Today, we are proud to honor you with the Salutatory Award in recognition of your excellence at MHS. Noah, you're full of capability and vibrance, and we feel grateful to have had you with us at MHS. Noah Klein, Adi Black. Adi, you thrilled MHS, and we thank you for serving as head of grade Shabbaton in the 10th grade, head of our technology committee, and also as senior class president. We will always remember your exceptional talents and endearing friendship. Adi, you are full of impressive leadership sparkling midos, thank you, and we feel fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Adi Black, Yael Melman. Yael, you delighted MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of the Moadim publication and also as head of Chesed.
We will always remember your sharp mind, compassionate soul, and terrific artistic talents. Yael, you're full of sensitivity and creativity, and we feel thankful to have had you with us at MHS. Yael Melman, Ilona Riva, Ilona, you exalted MHS, and we thank you for serving as editor of our literary and art anthology, and also as head of our We Educational Performance. We will always remember your warm smile, creative perspectives, and love for Torah. Ilona, you are full of this zest for life, and we feel very fortunate to have had you with us at MHS. Ilona Raiba! At this time in our program, I'd like to acknowledge that each graduate has been highly motivated and achievement-oriented throughout the past four years. As you have heard, a significant majority of our students have merited recognition for academic and personal achievements from various government, community, and university committees. Our graduates have invested of their time, of their hearts, of their minds, and we're delighted with their accomplishment. In fact, 85% of our 52 graduates have earned merit-based four-year renewable college scholarships, a record-breaking collective sum of $1.5 million has been offered to our senior students through merit-based scholarship programs at the finest colleges and universities. A special thank you is in place to Mrs. Sarah Greenwald, our Director of College Guidance, who has guided and nurtured the seniors and facilitated their college acceptances and academic scholarships and deferment plans as well as to the general studies teachers who have empowered our girls with self-awareness, interpersonal skills, multicultural perspectives, and professional readiness. And now, my dear girls, you're leaving, and I want to leave you with some parting words. But these are very unusual times, and I must admit that I grappled for some time as I sorted through my usual graduation messages. So instead, this morning, I want to talk about Eliyahu Hanavi. Is there someone present here who has not wished over the past months to see Eliyahu Hanavi, to ask him for some answers, to seek some strength, to beseech a blessing? Allow me to share with you, my beautiful girls, a powerful story written by Rabbi Yitzchak Buxbaum in the light and fire of the Baal Shem Tov. It's a story I had planned to share with you at the Kumsitz on your senior trip, which Mrs. Yanofsky and I were hoping to chaperone. A chassid went to the Baal Shem Tov in Mezhebuz and said, Rebbe, I want to see Eliyahu Hanavi. See, this is what a good partner does. She takes care of me. Thank you. I want to see Eliyahu Hanavi. 
It's simple, said the Baal Shem. I'll tell you what to do. Get two boxes and fill one with food and the other with children's clothes. Then, before Rosh Hashanah, travel to Minsk. On the outskirts of town, right before where the forest begins, there's a dilapidated house. Find that house, but don't knock on the door immediately. Stand there for a while and listen. Then, shortly before candle lighting time at sunset, knock on the door and ask for hospitality. The chassid went home and told his wife he'd be away for the holiday. How can you leave your family? The children want their father to take them to shul. But I have a once-in-a-lifetime chance to see Eliyahu Hanavi. Finally, she agreed that it was something that he could not pass up. Thank you. So he went and did as the Baal Shem Tov told him. He filled the parcels with food and clothing and went to Minsk, where he found that house at the edge of the town. He arrived shortly before evening and stood in front of the door. Inside, he heard children crying, Mommy, we're hungry. It's Yantif, and we don't even have decent clothes to wear. Children, answered the mother, trust in Hashem. He'll send Eliyahu to bring you everything you need. Then the chassid knocked on the door. When the woman opened it, he asked if he could stay with them for the holiday. How can I welcome you when I don't have any food in the house, she said. Don't worry, he said. I have enough food for all of us. He came in, opened the box, gave the children the food, and they ate. Then he opened the other box. This one a shirt, that one a jacket. He was there for two days waiting to see Eliyahu Hanavi. He didn't even sleep. How could he sleep? How often do you get a chance to see Eliyahu? But he saw no one. So he returned to the Baal Shem Tov and said, Master, I did not see Eliyahu. Did you do everything I told you? I did. Are you sure? Yes, Rebbe, I didn't see him. Then you'll have to return for Yom Kippur, said the Baal Shem Tov. Go back before Yom Kippur with a box of food to the same house. Wait for a while at the door and just stand there and listen. The chassid went back to his wife and told her he would be away for Yom Kippur. How can you leave your children again? But, 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 but the rabbi said, how can I not go? His wife agreed. It was worth going away for two or three days if he could actually get to see Eliyahu Hanavi. So he went back to Minsk before Yom Kippur. This time he went earlier and stood in front of the door listening. Inside he heard children. How can we fast for Yom Kippur if we haven't eaten all day? Children, said the mother, do you remember you were crying? That you had no food or clothes? And I told you, trust in Hashem, surely he'll send Eliyahu. Was I not right? Did he not come? And pressed against the door, the chassid finally understood what his master, the Baal Shem Tov, had meant. And then he knocked on the door. It has been a scary season for all of us. There has been real suffering and real trauma. There's an avalanche of questions and a paucity of answers. We are all waiting for Eliyahu to knock on the door and take us out of distress. As you move forward into your next stage of life, and yes, we will continue to set 
the bar even higher for you. My hope is that you become that source of strength for someone else. Be the one who brings smiles and good cheer and solace and joyful spirit. You each hold a tremendous capacity. We know that because you were the class Hashem selected to face the challenge of COVID-19. And you were the class who withstood this challenge. This means Hashem trusts you to accomplish terrific things ahead. As we each wait for Eliyahu's knock on the door, for the whisper of salvation, for some inspiration, I ask you, MHS graduates of 2020, to find the Eliyahu within your very self. We are living in messianic times. Clearly we are. And it's you girls who hold the power. Clearly, you're the ones who have been taxed. In the beloved words of the Navi, that our esteemed Menahelet shared earlier in our program, Hine Anochi Sholeach Lachem Es Eliyahu Hanavi Lifnei Bo Yom Hashem Hagadol Vahanora. And who is the one who holds the power over the adults? Veheshev lev avos albanim, ubanim alavosam. There are glorious, happy days ahead for all of us, but we really, really need your leadership, your strength, and your terrific generosity. Keep in touch, beautiful girls. Bring your parents nachas, for you can never, ever, during this life of yours, ever repay them for all that they have done and all that they do for you. And whatever you do, please remember to continue to bring honor to the one above. Mazel tov, parents and guests. Thank you, Mrs. Hirsch, for your outstanding support and leadership over this program. On behalf of my esteemed fellow administrators, Mrs. Yanofsky and Mrs. Klugman, we love you girls so much, more than you can ever know. Go out. Our world is hurting. It's olam chesed yibane. Get to work. We're rooting for you. Thank you. <laughs>